if somebody in my household is a contact and they are advised to stay at home, why are you saying that it's safe for me to go about my normal life? That was one of the really good questions that we had. So the thinking here is that if I am a contact, then I might have the virus infection. The, the worry is that I might, actually many of us don't, but I might have the virus. If I am infected with the virus today, the virus has to grow in me for a number of days before I can give the virus to anybody else. And in so far as we know experience so far, I usually don't shed much of the virus until I start to have symptoms. So I start to get the runny nose or the sore throat. Nothing is perfect, but generally speaking, not much virus is leaving me until I get it. So if I'm a contact, I may have the virus, but as long as I'm well, the chance that I'm shedding virus is quite low. So we expect that if we have a hundred contacts for the sake of round number, we expect that most of those hundred people are actually not infected. Of those people who are infected, we expect that they're probably not going to be shedding the virus until they start to feel unwell. And, and, and if they do shed the virus and they give it to somebody in their house, that person isn't going to shed the virus for a few days after that. Is that's the, 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 so, so therefore, if I am living in the house of a contact, but the person who is a contact as well, the chance that I'm taking that virus outside is so low that our advice is that it's reasonable for you to live your life as normal in that, in that setting. So, so that's the reasoning that underlies the advice.